In this video, I am going to show you step by step how to set up your Amazon Seller Central account. Hi, my name is Steve and I have been selling with Amazon FBA for over two years now. I have my own registered trademark with the USPTO and I sell multiple products towards one specific customers. And I also have a bonus tip at the end of this video that is going to save you money when you are getting started with Amazon FBA. So let's get started. This video is brought to you by Digital Life Mastery. Digital Life Mastery is an Amazon FBA course that will teach you how to build a profitable Amazon FBA business from scratch. My course is on the bottom of this video. You can go ahead and check it out. Again, at the end of this video, I am going to give you a bonus tip that is going to save you money when you are getting started with Amazon FBA. So let's go ahead and create our Amazon Seller Central account. I do have a link to the Seller Central uh, website under resources. You want to go to amazon.com uh, slash Seller Central and you will come to this page or you can go to sellercentral.amazon.com and you will come to this page right over here. So right away, it tells you a sign up right over here. So you can go ahead and sign up for $39.99 a month plus a selling fees which I will go ahead and explain. Let's go ahead and click on learn more. I want to quickly uh, discuss uh, the, the different uh, types of accounts and let's go to uh, what, what it costs. Let's click on pricing overview and let's go ahead and uh, scroll down over here. So we have two different plans when we are getting started with Amazon FBA. We have the individual plan and we have the professional plan. The professional plan is $40 a month. If you are thinking about building a really successful Amazon FBA business, then you are most definitely going to need the professional account, which is $40 a month. The individual account is only if you are looking to sell a part-time as a hobby, maybe you want to do retail arbitrage. If you sell fewer than 40 units a month, then I suggest you go ahead and do individual account because each time you make a sell from that unit sold, Amazon is going to charge you a 99 cents per item sold on top of the other uh, fees, the referral fee and the fulfillment fee. I have a video right up here that you can go ahead and check out that covers the fulfillment fee so you can get to know uh, more about that. So if you're going to sell more than 40 units a month, I highly recommend that you go ahead and do the professional account, which is $40 a month. You also get access to a lot of other features. For example, the Amazon pay-per-click advertisement and also these features are right over here. So let's go ahead and let's click on sign up. Right over here, you wanna go ahead and click on create your Amazon account. And on this page, you wanna go ahead and put your name, the name that you will find on your driver's license or passport. You wanna put your email address, you wanna put uh, your passwords, uh, you wanna put a password, make sure that it's a password that uh, no one can guess because this is very important. And then you wanna go ahead and click on next. Once you go ahead and put in your information, on this page under business location, you wanna put the location where your business is going to be located in. For me, it's going to be located in the United States. So that's what I'm going to put. So let's go ahead and put the United States. And right over here under business type, you have five different options. If you don't have an LLC uh, corporation or S corp, you wanna put non an individual, which basically refers to sole proprietorship. So that's what you wanna go ahead and put. And right over here under the name, you wanna go ahead and put your name, your first name, if you have a middle name and the last name, you wanna put the name that you will find either on your driver's license or your passport because you are creating a business, because you are going to make a lot of money with Amazon, you wanna go ahead and put a legal name that you will find either on your driver's license or your passport. So let's go ahead and let's click on agree and continue. On this page, you wanna go ahead and put your country of citizenship. If uh, you are uh, selling out of the UK, for example, and you are a citizen of the UK, you wanna go ahead and put that. I'm a citizen of the United States, so I'm gonna put United States. 
and your country of birth if you were uh, not born if you were born in the UK you want to go ahead and put that so for me it will still be the United States so that's what I'm going to go ahead and put the United States and right over here you want to go ahead and put your date of birth you want to put your uh, passport number or your driver's license number over here and the expiration date and you want to put the country where this was issued in and right over here on their business address if you are going to sell out of the UK from your home address as an individual, as a sole proprietor, because you do not have an LLC or an S corporation yet, you want to go ahead and put in uh, your home's address. So if you're selling from the UK internationally and you're selling in the American marketplace, you want to still go ahead and put your United uh, Kingdom home address. And right over here, you want to go ahead and put your phone number for verification and click on send SMS to verify and then click on next. So we are halfway done with setting up our Amazon Seller Central account. The previous page to this was the billing. So you wanna go ahead and provide your credit card information so you can be charged by Amazon. On this page, under store, under your store name, I highly recommend that you go ahead and put a very uh, general name. Uh, for your brand name, it's gonna be different. So you could have uh, five different brands under one Seller Central account. So your store name is gonna be the primary name. So you can go ahead and put your last name. Just make sure it is nothing uh, very specific because if it is uh, specific, for example, if it is uh, related to kitchen, for example, if your store name is kitchen goods, uh, don't use that because I think it's probably taken, but let's say it's kitchen goods. And if you start a brand name that is in the industrial and scientific category, then it's not really going to make sense. So for your store name, I highly recommend that you put a very general name. So I'll go ahead and put my last name for the store name and let's hope it is not taken. I have a very unique last name, so I don't think it is taken. Great, it's not taken. So the question over here is, do you have universal product codes for all your products? I have received some questions about this, and I will go ahead and briefly explain to you so you can understand what this question means. So it's asking you again, do you have a UPC for all your products? So basically, because you are a private label uh, seller, this means that you are manufacturing your own product in China. It is your own product, as long as it's not patented, of course, and you are selling it on Amazon. This basically means that uh, you are the creator of this product. You can go ahead and make some changes on it if you want to. So you are the founder of that product. And every product needs to have a universal product code. So for this answer is going to be yes, because you are going to create a completely new listing on Amazon, because you are a private label seller, you definitely wanna go ahead and put yes over here, because you are going to purchase your own UPC codes, which is going to turn into the FNSKU codes once you go ahead and send it to your supplier to stick it on your packaging. So there is a lot of things to cover. Again, I do have a course on the bottom of this video. You can go ahead and check it out. I will teach you everything that you need to know. The second question is, are you the manufacturer or brand owner or agent or representative of the brand for any of the products you wanna sell on Amazon? So we are the brand owner for this product. So the answer for this question is going to be yes, because we are a private label seller and we are starting our own brand, the answer to this question is going to be yes. And the third question, is it a yes or a no? It's asking you, do you own government registered trademark for the branded products you wanna sell on Amazon? You wanna go ahead and put a no over here if you do not have a registered trademark. Once you go ahead and get it, you can go ahead and put yes over here to get started. So let's go ahead and click on no and let's click on next. Okay guys, on this page, you wanna go ahead and verify everything right over here and you wanna click on submit. So this is exactly uh, how you create your Amazon Seller Central account. It is very simple and it's very easy to go ahead and set it up. Now, for the bonus tip, if you have stayed here until the end of this video, great job. I can see that you are really committed to creating an amazing Amazon FBA business. I can see that you are committed to quit your nine to five job and create a thriving e-commerce business. For the bonus tip, what I recommend that you go ahead and do is first create an individual account. The reason you wanna go ahead and do this 
is because since you do not have any inventory on Amazon and you go ahead and create a professional account, what is going to happen is you are going to get charged $40. Let's say you haven't done product research and it takes you three months to go ahead and source a product for that inventory to arrive into Amazon. You are going to get charged up to $120, which is $40 a month. So yeah, $120 you are going to get charged. So what I recommend that you do is first create an individual account and once you go ahead and find a product and once you go ahead and ship it over to Amazon, you can then go ahead and switch it to a professional account. So this was my bonus tip. This will save you a lot of money when you are getting started with Amazon FBA. If you guys like this video, I would really appreciate a big thumbs up and a subscription. This YouTube channel is all about Amazon FBA. Again, I do have a complete course on the bottom of this video that will teach you how to build a profitable Amazon FBA business from scratch so you can go ahead and check it out. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. Have a great one, everyone.